person. Yeah. But uh, so a question about his Wolf's recovery time, because he was in quite dire straits in the end. Yeah. Is there a lot of story spent on that, or do we get right to Yeah, it? there's some recovery time. Yeah. Uh, but, he, but, you know, Wolf is pretty resilient yes. and adaptable. So he, you know, we're not going to watch him struggle for, like, yeah. half the season. Kind of he, he, he kinda, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he kind of finds his way pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, but we do deal with it. We have to. Yeah. yeah. We, we saw a lot of interesting, interesting things with Wolf last year, including the Coke-infused restaurant uh-huh. tour. Uh-huh. What, is, what, what can we expect from him? Where is he getting stretched out? Uh, well, he does learn a new craft. Uh, and he is brilliant at it pretty quickly, of course. Um, uh, so, so yeah, last year's what was cooking is something completely different this year. Um, cooking is still a thing. He loves it. I think it'll always be a thing. But, uh, yeah, he finds a new craft. This year. Yeah. Is there a particular moment for your character or just in the show that you're excited for fans to see this season? Uh, we... We... May well, we get to play alternate timeline versions of ourselves uh, that are completely different. So it'll be interesting. I'm a little nervous about how that comes off because it's completely different, uh, but also exciting. Was it challenging to play other versions of a character you've already kind of yeah. established? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, really, because really, it's it's almost like anything goes. But then there are these rules, you know. So it's. Uh, yeah, it's challenging, but that's 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 the game. Yeah. Do you look uh, physically different from your uh, counterparts, like how like hairstyle or how so? Like, can you give us a taste? Of what uh, I think. Well, I don't. I don't know what's in the sizzle reel. Um, yeah, I, I have a very different hairstyle <laughs> and, and no scars. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it because I this version didn't go through, you know. What wolf? With the show's weird sense of humor, have there been any moments where you read the script and were like, "I don't know how that's going to work," and then it came together Always. when you were filming? And it every script, good. every script. I think there's no way we can do that. <laughs> right. And then we're doing it. And, you know. But, well, then then we do the table read, and it's it feels a little more possible. Mm-hmm. But then you walk in and uh, see the sets, and I mean, just incredible sets this season. Um, and yeah, we pull it off. I don't know how. It looks, from everything I've seen, the show looks like, a, you know, a multi, multi, multi million dollar blockbuster movie. It's crazy. And we shoot on a TV schedule. We shoot this movie, right. <laughs> essentially, on a TV schedule. So, yeah, we always pull it off. Almost always. <laughs> how do you sustain. Um, Wolf's voice across. I mean, I would think you'd be hacking up a lot. <laughs> yeah, it comes a pretty. Of takes. That's it. It does. It's not hard at all, actually. Now it was early on in season one, but now I just found it sort of deeper. It's not necessarily here anymore. It's like more down and safer. Uh, um, and I. The funny thing about that though is I can't find it. Like. I can't, if I were to do it now, it wouldn't sound right. It just, it, it feels, it doesn't, once I'm with Eliza and Josh or on set, you know, reading the lines, it's like, it's super easy. Or at a table reading, it's super, it just comes right out. I don't know. Yeah, if I did it now, you'd think I'm trying to impersonate Wolf or something. Uh, yeah. I've been hearing from a lot of the, the interviews this weekend from some of the dramatic shows that they, they use a lot of humor on set to relieve the tension yeah. from the heavy stuff. With a funny show... Very serious on set. Is it? Always very serious. Yeah, we keep it... We keep it... Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, uh, no, we keep it really light. Sometimes, I mean, again, because we're shooting essentially a movie on a TV schedule, we do have to be pretty strict and, and you know... Uh, stay on ourselves but um, yeah of course because it's such a challenging show even though it's funny it's a really challenging show to make long days so keeping it light is, is a must yeah and it's you know everyone Kyle and Ariel and Seth of course and Evan like everyone is great with that right yeah it's a very loose set while running strictly 
tight and forward. Does that leave room for like improvising with your lines and stuff, or do you guys generally stay we, close? We to the generally script? stay pretty close to the script because it's so tightly written. Right. Uh, and then you know we'll always have a, a couple of goofy takes depending on the scene, right. um, and some of that stuff works, and most of it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it is. It's really tightly written and, and specific, beat by beat by beat by beat. Just brilliant stuff. What can you say about Wolf and Tiger's relationship this year after everything that went down? Right. Well, it's definitely uh, uh, put to the test. There's a lot of strain on our relationship. She's a biotic. So, you know, as that is discovered in Wolf's world, uh, that's a big challenge. It's a, it's a big turn for Wolf, so I, I don't want to say too much, but it's a big turn and that, that just completely comes out. With all the um, fractured team, um, what are some of Wolf's new interactions? Well, uh, he starts to become a family man. Mm. In, a, in a really fun way. And uh, he, uh, he finds love in, in a really surprising way. Coming from a person that you would never expect it from. And they're, they're complete strangers in this new future, is that right? They don't yeah. know how it works or anything. Right, yeah. Well, that's the thing, yeah. This future is, is really, it's the consequences of everything we did in season one, trying to save the world. Now, we've created a, a new future, and so it's a completely different fish out of water story this season. We're going to a future that we, we expect to be one way, and it's totally different. So, uh, um, yeah, it sets up, you know, it's a, there's a lot of room for world building. And it's a really fun world, but completely different from anything in season one. Does Wolf like this feature that they stumbled upon? He grows to love it. Of course. He's so adaptable. That's what I love about him. I mean, just there's no challenge that he won't accept and succeed at. Yeah.